From December of 2020 to February of 21, COVID was the leading cause of death in the U.S., overtaking heart disease, cancer, and accidental injury deaths for three straight months. Well, according to the most recent data, the respiratory virus has dropped to the fourth leading cause of death in the U.S., but the illness continues to impact people's mental health. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, one woman shares how faith has helped her through some of her toughest moments this past year. She said, I need to let you know that your husband was in an accident. For the past eight months, Melanie Brown has had to adjust to living without her husband of 40 years after he died from his injuries in a fiery crash last August. I just asked her if I could hear his voice. Can I, can I talk to him? And she just said, just a minute, and she handed him the phone and he said, hi, honey. It's been one of the hardest times of Melanie's life, but she says there's one thing that's continued to pull her through even the hardest moments of grief. Whenever we feel like we've hit rock bottom, that's when we find out that God is the rock at the bottom. It's a message she has shared with countless other women over the past 10 years. Women Ignited by Faith event is all about awakening God's power to be. A conference on faith that's continuing on in its 10th anniversary year, where Melanie hopes her own personal experience will help other women overcome their own mental health struggles. By building our faith and by building our life, we can overcome alcoholism and drug addiction. I've seen a lot of things that faith has helped people overcome. We all have a story and, and life is messy. And, and so, um, you know, when we can connect together, and um, share each other's stories, I think that uh, people can relate to that. Karen Suro has attended Melanie's Women in Faith events for the past eight years and says the stories shared by all of the speakers and the encouragement of everyone gathered in the room always lifts her spirits. I love that positiveness and the energy that everybody coming together, that it's, it's, we just need more of that today. Being a part of a faith community, regardless of what kind of faith community is, gives us that sense of belonging that we, we all thrive for and desire, um, which helps that connectedness helps us in our mental health journey, just to feel like we are part of something. Sarah Vantall is the outpatient behavioral health manager at Avera Health in Sioux Falls. From prayer to mindfulness and gratitude, she says there are many aspects of faith that closely connect to mental health. Faith gives us that hope, that hope that we need, that we can get through this and that we can overcome those really big obstacles. That's the only thing that pulls us through. God is the glue that holds us together. On the 10th anniversary, Women Ignited by Faith event is on Thursday, May 1st at the district in Sioux Falls. We have information on how to get involved with this story on Catherland.com.